Good day. Structural Engineering Pastboard Series. Hello everyone. This is Engineer De La Cruz and you are in De La Cruz Engineering video tutorial. Okay? And we will solve here a pastboard problem na naman. Okay? This was on May 2019. Okay? Without further ado, let's start to solve the problem. The canopy of the storage building shown in the figure is spaced 4 meters apart. Okay? So this is spaced 4 meters perpendicular to the screen. The wind load no normal to the roof is roof surface is 2.88 kilo pascal. Yun. So the wind load here is naka pressure pa. Okay? So what is the resultant reaction at E? The cal calculate the reaction at D and calculate the axial load of member BC. Okay, this one. So, first step is to convert this, this wind load into a uniformly distributive load. Okay, take note this is in pressure pa. So, to calculate that, that should be multiplied by the spacing dito. Okay, multiplied by 4 meters. Okay, by the way, um, we have to do our free, ba free body diagram dito. Okay, look at this. So, at E, we have a pin support that will be um, supported by vertical and horizontal reaction. Okay, let's call that EH and E sub B. And dito naman, uh, that is roller support that will be a one reaction lang. Okay, that is normal to the roller support. That is the reaction at D. Okay, so there are there is no vertical reaction for roller support dito. Okay? Now, we will convert this load 2.88 kPa by kilonewtons per meter and that that will be just this load here, the wind load times the perpendicular distance. That is 2.88 times 4 meters. Okay? The perpendicular distance dito. By the way, this is 3 meters. Huh? That is just by Pythagorean theorem. That is square root of 8 squared plus tatlong point eight squared. Okay? That should be 3 meters dito. Okay? That is Pythagorean theorem lang. So, take note, this is a right triangle man. This is the hypotenuse. Okay? Now, converting the load, that will be 11.52. That is just 2.88 times 4 meters perpendicular to this screen. Okay? Now, in order to calculate the reactions, um, it is easy to uh, convert this into a uh, resultant forces. Okay? So, the resultant force of this wind is just um, 11.52 times 3. Okay? That is just 11.52. Okay? Tingnan nyo. This is 11.52 kilonewtons per meter. And multiplying this by 3, that will be 34.56. Okay? The resultant force of this um, uniformly distributive load. Okay, so for me, the most easiest um, reaction to solve this first is the reaction at D. Okay, that is just by summing moment about E. That is the best um, first step siguro dito. Okay, and summation of moment about E must be zero for equilibrium. That will be RD. Take note, that is aunahin natin tong Count, uh, clockwise rotation rd times 1.8 that will create a clockwise rotation and minus this force will create a counterclockwise rotation okay no need to kind of this um, um resolve into components because this is uh, perpendicular to this distance man okay so by the way this distance is just half of three okay because this is a uniformly distributive load man okay so that is RD times 1.8 minus 34.56 times 1.5. And we have our RD here. Now to calculate the, uh, for number one, calculate the re resultant reaction at E, we must solve these two forces, dyan, two reactions, then calculate by Pythagorean theorem, yung total reaction or the resultant. Okay? So we can solve this by summation of, um, summation of forces, along horizontal okay summation of forces horizontal ang um, horizontal forces dito is rd eh and the component dito the 
um, horizontal component of 34.56 okay so resolving this into component of course ganito yan so we must compute the angle of inclination pa nito okay para ma-compute natin yung components and okay yun summation of forces and we must calculate this that is just the tangent of theta is equals to 1.8 over tatlong point eight. Okay? So, I'll give that to you, na, to you na lang, ha? Because that is very basic na. And that is 36.87 degrees. If this is 36.87 degrees, andito yung, 30, uh, andito yung angle na yan. Okay? Wala yan dito. I hope um, um, basic na lang inyo sa, sa inyo to, ha? Yung pag-transfer ng angle. Okay? Pag-locate ng angle natin. This is the 36.87 degrees dito. Okay? Now, summation of forces horizontal, that will be this force, the um, horizontal component. So, that should be the 34.56 sine of this angle. Okay? Kasi wala sa kanya yung angle. Yan yung tandaan nyo. Pag wala sa kanya yung angle, sine siya. Pag nasa kanya yung angle, cosine. Okay? That will be ito. 34.56 sine of this minus RD minus EH. RD is 28.8. Okay? And we can solve our E sub H dito, the horizontal component of E. Now, after that, to compute the vertical component of E, that is just summation of forces vertical. So, the vertical components involved here is just ito, EV and this one, the vertical component of this force. Okay? That should be EV minus 34.56 so nasa kanya yung angle so cosine dito okay and we can solve our vertical component here now we can calculate the resultant reaction at ina that is just the square root of the horizontal component squared plus the vertical component squared so by Pythagorean theorem okay then substitute we have eh we have ev and we can solve our resultant reaction at E. Ayun. And that is for part 1. Now, for part 2, calculate the reaction at D. Actually, nasolve na natin to. This is 1. Okay? So, that is just the answer for part 2. Okay? So, how about the actual load on member BC? This one. Okay. So, what's the best solution dito? Okay? Look at this. This BC, if you you analyze this, that should be equals to member AB. Okay, this because the the two members are collinear man. Okay, and the, walang load na nag uh, na na put dito. Walang load na nag in, interact dito sa point B. Okay, so member AB and BC um, should be equals lang dito. And this member BG is a zero force member. Okay. If we'll take um, at joint B and su summing up forces vertical, so of course this is zero. Okay, automatic yan. So, how to calculate the member AB muna? Okay, to, uh, if we calculate the member AB, makuha na natin yung B BC. That is bo uh, just equals lang. Okay, now take note. This load is um, um, uniformly distributive load. And if this load will act to this, um, it will cause bending sa ating truss. Okay? It will bend this. So, anong gagawin natin dito? Take note, truss is analyzed as actually loaded lang. Dapat actually loaded. And truss are loaded at every, every joints lang. Hindi siya load done sa, hindi siya pwedeng lagyan ng load in between members. So, ano, yung, ano yung ibig sabihin itong uniformly distributed load? Ano ito yan? This uniformly distributed load is nag act pa yan sa roof. Sa roof. Hindi yan diretso mag-act sa um, truss natin. ba? May roof pa yan. Dito yun mag-act yung wind load. Tapos yung wind load, ito na yung i-distribute sa ating truss. Okay? So, how will we distribute this to our truss? Look at this. Okay? I will isolate this and this and also that. Okay? Isolating lang. Now, Take note, this is 11.52. Okay, yan lahat. Nasolve natin yan kanina. Now, um, focus on this uh, figure muna. This is 11.52. And this distance here, 
must be equals to 1 meters lang. Take note, this is 3 meters. So, this is just divided by 3. Okay? Because um, the vertical uh, members here is evenly distributed by 0.8. So, therefore, dapat this distance, this and this are both equal sila lahat. Okay? So, this distance is 1 meter lang. Okay? Now, to calculate the um, the reaction at end points, that is just 11.52 okay, times 1 and divided by 2. Hahatiin ng reaction dito. Okay? So, that will be the same sa kanila dito. Because they, uh, they have the same length lang. Okay? Now, how will we transfer this load papunta sa truss? Ito yun. This 5.76, that will be transferred here. Of course, that is action-reaction. Okay? Dito naman, may transfer na load dito. And that is just 5.76. Of course, dalawa ito. Tingnan nyo. This one, 5.76, and also this one. And this will become 11.52. The same dito. And ito rin, 5.76 lang. Okay? Now, we can calculate na the member AB dito. Okay, how will we do this? Take note that are 1 meters. Okay, so we can do that by cutting dito. Okay, we can solve our member AB by cutting at this point, at this section. Look at this. Okay, so exposing the forces here, this is the forces AB and force AG. Okay, Yun. so that will be the same action reaction dito. Okay, uh, it is best that uh, in this section tayo mag uh, mag analyze kasi konti lang yung forces. Okay, pwede rin dito, but napakahaba napakahaba ng solution because ang raming forces involved. Okay, I will isolate this joint A. Okay, look at this. And this is joint A and of course ito yung 11.76 kN. Okay? Now this is the member AB and this that is member AG. Now to calculate the member AB, we can actually use the summation of forces vertical and horizontal. But the best way to do this is um summing up moment about G. Look at this. If I will project this point G and B, projecting that, and this one here, what is this distance? That thing, uh, look at this. This is the distance, diba? Ito. So that is just 1.8 divided by 3. Okay? Klaro ba? That is 1.8 divided by 3. Hahatiin lang nito. Or by ratio proportion, this is 2.8 is equals to 1.8 divided by apat na point... Uh, tatlong point eight and that will give us point six meters lang or one point eight divided by three okay for easy now if we will take moment about G masusod natin si AB and di ba mawawala si AG dito ba, pag dito tayo nag moment sa G and automatically masusod natin si AB and take note this is one meters okay uh, summing up moment about G is zero that will be five point seventy six times one plus AB times 0.6. Ayun. Okay? And we can solve AB here as negative 9.6 kilonewtons meter. So that is negative meaning that is in compression. Okay? Again, um, techniques of truss is always assume tension. So if we assume tension on, a, on our truss, that will be away from the joint. Okay? Our drawing must be away from the joint. If the answer will be negative, that is in compression. Okay? So, sob na yung BC. That is just equals to member AB. Or para mas klaro, tingnan nyo ha. I-isolate nyo to. And this is the member B, uh, joint B. And this is the member AB, take note. And that is negative 9.6 for compression, okay? And this is the member BC and this is member BG. Now look at this. Sinabi ko kanina na this is zero force member lang. Because if you take moment, I mean if you take, summation of forces vertical, walang force na magko-contra sa kanya. So, zero yan. Um, while, if we take summation of forces horizontal, BC is equals to member AB lang. Okay? Action, reaction. Ayun. So, that is for part 3. So, that's it. Sobrang easy lang, no? So, again, if you haven't subscribed yet to my channel, please do, do subscribe. Like, share this to your CE friends. Okay? And please hit the bell icon para ma-notify kayo if mag-upload ako ng mga bagong video tutorial. 
Thank you, everyone, and God bless. And stay 